multiple trains using this at once, which means we may occasionally get crashes. <laughs> Greetings, models. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome back to Factoria. So, in the last one, I was doing a fight. I've done a few other things. I've picked up a lot of equipment into my car. I've wiped out a small base. And right now I have been watching and walking around my train system and I'm going to change it immensely. So I'm actually going to be getting rid of all of these chain signals and having these. There you go, see that? So what that's going to be doing is speeding things up so the track gets used by lots of trains more often rather than just one train at a time. Of course it will make it more prone to crashing. I think we can do that. There we go. So as you can see, we now have this going on. We may occasionally have actual crashes. I actually have that there. There we go. So, there you go. As you can tell, we now have things happening. Why is this red? Okay, so we're going to be slowly building this up. Because obviously I need these things to be working. See that? That's going to go round to there. That's yellow, so the train's going in. That's going to be a rail signal here. No matter what, every single one of these has to actually have the proper lights on it. Oh, I also wiped out the line over here, which goes from here to here, so everything now goes through the bottom section. That is to speed things up. I am tired of basically, you know, everything doing that. I'm actually getting the proper line going down. As you can see, it's going to be straight down. That's going to be our main battle line. Our main train station. I should have brought my car with me. So what we're doing over here is getting rid of some of these. Obviously, this goes away. This becomes this. These stay here, obviously. As you can see there, so they all stay like that. But we get a lot more actual rail signals rather than ra train rail signals. Oh my god, it's been damaged. Because the train rail signals, obviously, are telling each other that this entire track is completely and utterly used. Which is always awesome, but I want multiple trains using this at once, which means we may occasionally get crashes, but I'm okay with this. Occasional crashes is better than lots of trains just waiting. As you can see, trains are now using it. Okay, so that's what? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five. Almost. My trains are what, five long? One, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Technically they're six long. Let's get rid of that. So we do that there. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, there. And these stay exactly as they are. Okay, so they stay exactly as they are, because that's always the bit at the end where the trains come through the tracks. Perfect. So multiple trains... Yeah, there we go. Multiple trains are now using this at exactly the same time. It may occasionally cause crashes, but right now it's what we need. I can sort this out later. There you go. So we have a bit faster training going on. Training. Not for everyone. So now I should wipe out this bloody base over here. Actually, is that the base attacking us? Actually, it might be. What we're going to do is, do we have any gear? Yeah, we don't have much gear. Okay, so there's not much gear over here, actually. Steel. Uh, copper as well. Okay, I wonder if you want to do it. Yeah, steel, whatever's left in here. That was 13 minutes, so it's good. And let's go back into battle. Some holes in this wall after all this time. Weird. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Bring these down. Let's get another couple. 
Magnesium. Now get over that there. Okay, well, another thing I found out, by the way, is we're actually quite low on power at night now, obviously. There we go. So we're slowly wiping out the base. Huh. We go here, we can actually put these back together. Wow. They're actually reconnecting the old base, the lines they destroyed. This is, this is going to be one of the bloody bits. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just reconnect the bloody base back together. Back needs to be powered from down here. Ports of the line. Actually, does the line still exist? The line still exists. So you track these guys here, bring them up. There we go. Okay, let's get a few more of these. Okay, so, is that now connected down there? It's not. I don't want to leave these actual tracks, you know, with four on each one. Because obviously it's going to be a problem otherwise. So, yeah, we'll leave these up. They can continue fighting because we need to hold the ground. The problem is we're not holding the ground. There we go. There we go. Everything in here dies. Okay, we're going to take it a while. Come on, just die. So we've wiped out this base over here. Good, 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 good. What we need to do now is actually continue building. So this will be here, then we obviously have these. So as you can see, we're getting to the point where we actually need to bring the defences back. So we have that there, that's just a good defensive point, obviously. But if we then have, say, this here... Then we can put a robo-port down, but we can't actually build a robo-port right now. So, we have that. We've got yet another alien base. We even liberated some iron. Let's have a look. Can I actually build a radar here? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, so we're building a radar. Leave it back here so I can keep an eye on things. We'll do this. Have that there. And have these two put here instead. It looks a bit awkward, because it is, but whatever. You guys have a look at the map. I can say it is now cleanse. There's a little base here and here. I mean, the main thing is, we actually have power lines going up here still. It shows you how much we lost. I mean, my god. 
Look at this. There used to be a base here. Where am I? There we go. There we go, keep going. There we go, keep going. There we go. Okay, if we take in this. So we lost a little bit more stuff, but we did wipe out yet a bit more of a base. Okay, we go just down to here as well. Come on, keep going, keep firing. Okay, that's another base wiped out. Good. So as you can tell, we're trying to retake as much as possible. And right now, that's difficult. That's very difficult. Let's get another one of these bloody radars up and running over here. So we actually fought here literal dozens of episodes ago. And now we're fighting here again. Uh, is that there? Is that there? Get the radar out here. We have two separate radars now defending this area. Uh, okay, do that. Fortify. Okay, so it's. Semi fortified. We fortified that area. We've regained that area. We now own this section again. It should hopefully stop some of the attacks. Whether this bit here is going to be a problem. But yeah, we've got continuous movement now on the trains. Fine, it's going okay. No crashes so far. Uh, that's going to be a big one to wipe out. So obviously, our battery production is down. We need to get a lot more fuel supply. There's obviously more here we can get. Just know you bring these to our friends. There we go. That's done. Okay, pull back. Die. There we go. These really do look smaller, don't they? I think these are actually a smaller breed. I don't remember being that tiny before. Oh, where's the train? Don't love that. That could have been me. Here's another one. Retreat for the forest, they can't follow through the forest very easily. They have issues. See that? They have issues. There we go. So right now we're quite safe. We have trains all over the place doing things. And obviously what we're going to do eventually is have all those stops Basically, you know, be a lot better. Oh god. Dead. Pull to the forest, pull to the forest! Gotta love that. They can't follow me through the forest. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, yeah. Eventually, obviously, the train tracks will be a lot bigger because right now it's all just the nearest base, so I'm going to get all this stuff as well, which will all be gone. It'll just be this. But yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. That's the thing. We've got to build it bit by bit. This place is a nightmare. Oh, God. Come on, shield. Don't fail me now. Uh oh Damn trees. There's a train coming. There's a train coming. Get across. Get 
There we go. Is that everyone standing here and absorbing the blows? Jimmy blows. So yeah, these alien bases here and here need to die. Especially this one. These two shouldn't even be here. To be fair, none of them should be here. We cleared this area out of why? Like this bit here. Look at that. They're pushing back through to the forest near the southern copper. The base here near the manufacturer. Okay, so we're going to keep pushing. And we're going to wipe these buggers off the face of the map. Obviously, right now we are... Did that train stop? Wait. Be all full? Oh, I see. When that's when that has uh, paused, obviously that one will go. Okay. So that one's moving. That is now fine. Okay, so that is fine. Bit of a worry, but there you go. So we are going to have an actual pause of trains up here, which I will solve in a different way. Right now, I'm going to leave it as it is. We're not actually using that many trains. I will, of course, be making many more trains, just not right now. I don't need them. There's been a gap there. I don't remember there being a gap there. Why is there a gap there? Oh yeah, now I know why. So we've got munitions and equipment moving in. Okay, so how are we doing up here? Still too much coal? Yep, still too much coal. Typical. But we are filling up with lots and lots of coal, so we're getting a bit of an issue. Of course, it's not too much of a problem right now. Let's put a steel chest down and get more grenades. There we go. We've got more grenades on the way. <sighs> Useless. Okay, just carrying a bit of iron. There we go. So everything we possibly can is now using coal. Plenty of iron, steel there. Uh, what about... What about these? How many have we got? 16 of these. So we're going to make a load more train engines, obviously. As you can see, we've got plenty of engines. Plenty of grenades. As you can see, we're stocking up on equipment just in case. And right now, we're going to stock up with some bullets. Because, quite frankly, we are preparing for war. That's my war buggy. It's not the most exciting of war buggies, but, you know, whatever. Let's just do that. And also put down a steel chest while I'm at it. There we go, so now it will be massive production. Production all over the place will be here. Let's go, dumpf. Let's actually take two of these, three of these myself. And let's go back down south. Probably the new train things, and I won't see the trains coming anymore. That's the thing, I will not see the trains coming. If something dumb like that is going to cost me. Oh god, I'm in the middle. Oh god. So yeah, I need a new way in and out, which doesn't involve me driving directly through where the trains are coming, now that we're on rail signals and not chain signals. So that could be an issue. Oh yeah, I also set this up so I can get loads of um, stone. I forgot about that. We have a very, very small stone mine, mining stones, I can continue making more tracks. There it goes. We do actually have plenty of copper, to be fair. I'm just siphoning it into one base. I mean, that obviously finishes. We're going to be siphoning it to somewhere else. That's the thing. So we do actually have plenty of equipment we need. Plenty of resources in the copper. We now own iron. So we have copper and iron. We're doing fine. We own the two important resources. What am I doing? Okay, we have bases down there. We have attacks up there. I was going to wipe out that little base over there on the right. Okay. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Get them all off one at a time. Okay, we go around the side. There we go. There we go. Plenty of bullets. 
Plenty of bullets. Plenty of bullets. Take out the mediums. The large just takes too much. I have to grenade it. There we go. There we go. Just kill them. So as you can see, we're just wiping out more and more bases. Yeah, just keep throwing grenades. So this little base now is no longer doing attacks continuously. We're going to have to wipe out up north though. We're losing more defences. Good. Dead. I mean, my god, there's literally defences all over the place. Designed to hold back the enemy. Look at this. This is literally one of our defensive positions. I mean, look at this. There's actually recent dead next to it. And over here we have this base which is continuously attacking over here, so we're going to go wipe a bit of it out. Did not realise it was this bad, but there we go. One dead. There we go. What are the kills on these things? Not too high, it looks like the base is brand new. That's fine. So the base is still here. We're going to do. Let's get another couple of these, I never know. There we go, kill this, kill this, okay. Pull back, let them die. One more down. Okay, so slowly wiping out this base again. I can't believe we're wiping out bases again and again and again. You not really heavily fortifying this position. Like up north there's a base, there's a base. This little base does need to die. Okay, we do this here. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, a little bit more damage, a few more things dead. There's a bit more to this base, and then we're done. There we go. Come on, kill it. Kill it before I die. Done. Oh god. Wipe out that as well. There we go. Okay, so we've wiped that out. We've wiped that out. So we're doing better now. We've wiped out these little bases. The attack should stop happening continually. Look at this. Look at he's dead. Okay, so we have defences and power lines everywhere. For an obvious reason. There's a lot of evil out here. This is why laser production is a major thing. Also, why our problems with power need to be sorted out as well in this episode. So the train lines have been done. The power lines have been semi reassembled. There's defences all over the place around here. For obvious reasons. Where's my car? Uh, it's down south. Never mind. We'll pick up another car later. So we have some boilers. We can easily make some more. Okay, through. Yeah, you should really do something like that. In reality, this entire area eventually will be automated, so we don't have to come in here ever again except, you know, to check up on it. But obviously right now, that's not the case. Iron's low as always. There we go. Do not throw grenades. Okay, so iron production is down again because it's all copper and coal. Yeah. Okay, what's all my power? Uh, performance is... Why is performance bad? Temperature's going up slowly. Did we run out of coal again or something? I don't know why performance is bad. 
We still have it going nicely. Why did this not power down? Did not tell me whatsoever. Uh, okay. Let's actually get some more of these. Uh, we need another one of... Where is it? Electronic circuits. We need those. Okay, fine. So what we're doing is... Ten of these. Or have I remember... It is ten. Okay, so as you can see, a few things, then we're fine. Uh, okay, so we actually do need to get some water pumped in here, but we don't have any circuits. Why are these all... Okay, that's heating 100, 100, 100. They're still going up. It's fine. The okay, performance is low, the available performance is quite high. So hopefully things are going amazingly. But yeah, we've got a second set of power just in case. What we need also is more of these. So yeah. My god. Sorry, I just saw something which disgusted me. Anyway, let's carry on. <sighs> Iron's a problem. Iron's always a problem. Well, mainly surviving is a problem. We've got plenty of everything else. So this huge amount of coal we've got. We don't need this much coal. One of these. One of these. A few dozen of these. Okay, so we have plenty of stuff we need now. Let's just go this way. So as you can see, this old line still doesn't have many of the lasers it needs, but let's face it, this wall has been old and sturdy, and some of these turrets have hundreds of kills. My god. Some of these lines are ancient. Some of these lines have been here before the kids were born. I'm not sure I'm going to ever have kids at this point in time, but you never know. This series could be going for so long that they now have kids. Who the hell knows? Okay, there we go. We now have even more crude oil. Uh, so I'll just pump here. There we go. There we go. So pumping in even more water. We have even more temperature. Obviously, this isn't done. What we need is da da da. There we go. Obviously these can't do anything because there's no actual boilers here, but they now exist. So as you can see, we have another line of boilers, another line of engines. What do we need for the final line of boilers? We need, where is it? Oh god, I'm trapped. Oh. Okay, up the middle. Wait, we're still losing on that side. My god, that alien base needs to die. But, uh, okay, we've done the tracks. We've done more power. We have stone. What do we actually need for more boilers? Uh, there are boilers. There you go. Stone furnaces. What do we need for stone furnace? So, let's just take these stone furnaces. Like, why do I want to make my own? I could just steal some. I'm not using them. I'm not actually making any actual stone walls out of them right now. But either way, we've now got them. Now I can now do this. There we go. Now that was majestic and hypnotic. But either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Factorio. If you've enjoyed it as always, like, comment, favourite, share and subscribe. If you comment, I will reply. If you like, this series will come out for longer and more often. And of course, if you subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You know when new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, die, Stone Rock. I will see you in Valhalla. 
Ciao for now, people. Bye bye. Ooh, perfect. Sneaky. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it would. We'll kill this guy off. Take up the base. The base which is nearly dead. The base really is nearly dead. That's perfect. Thank you, whoever you are. I assume you're one of mine. Everything. Okay, you want to move up to this guy. Come on. Yes! Right in their face. We killed everyone and took no one took a bit of damage. I got stabbed in the leg, I assume. You've got two levels up. Ready for a day. <laughs>